it's been really nice weather for a couple of days and birds are singing. It feels a bit like spring, even though it's not quite. I'm sure it's lulling into a false sense of security, but I am getting on with a couple of jobs. And the main one was emptying the boat of water, which has been getting worse and worse and worse. I found the ingenious solution. I'm using our well pump and an extension cable. Fingers crossed that sorts it. We uh, normally use this well pump for uh, pulling moat water out and watering the plants in certain sections. And we're creating the same in others as we make areas. So it'll be self-sufficient. We're surrounded by water, why not use it? In the meantime, I'm emptying the boat of water. You might be able to see, it's only been going for five minutes and you can see the line. Very happy. Not exactly a slow amount of water. Right, we'll come back to this. Happy days. Saves me uh, bailing it out with a bucket, which I started to do this morning. What do you think you're doing in my boat? What are you doing? Any chance you're coming out of there? This is not your new home. Come on. <clears throat> Let's go you, come on. I haven't got the energy. Stay there. Dude. There. Out my boat. Can you come back and sort this out, please? Well done. Come on, duck squad. Get back together. See? You're trailing behind. Come on. Well, I'm going to ignore you for two seconds because you've been working away. I'm loving that at the moment. Uh, I'm not loving this job so much. <laughs> yeah, you're loving that job because it's finished. I know, yeah. So here we are. This is my floor scrubbing machine. This is a special brush attachment that it has. And I also have what's called the skirts to protect uh, my lovely fabric I've just finished cleaning and all the skirting boards from having splashbacks, which is working really well. What we're doing at the moment, me and Phil, is it's a two man team because we are testing out a few different chemicals by pouring them on the water, turning on the machine, giving a little uh, area clean and seeing what the results are. So far, it's looking pretty muddy. <laughs> See, this looks a bit muddy, but um, we'll need to mop it all and clean it up afterwards. We're just testing it all out and I'm hoping to see beautiful, shiny and clean once it's um, cleaned and then dried again. Yeah. But it's had a first couple of passes with this machine and I've got to tell you, it's looking a lot better than it was. You can actually start to see the um, character of the granite coming through. It's not exactly clean and clear, but you know, it's starting to. You gotta think how many years of grease and grime is there. So after we've uh, done the first pass with the scrubbing machine, we are then using a um, carpet uh, suction machine to suck up all the dirty water because as you remember this floor slants at an angle and so all the dirty water is trying to straight away go elsewhere and I don't really want to be spreading the dirt and also I don't really want to have muddy feet and obviously the squeegee comes in handy to control it 
So Phil's on this machine and I'm on that scrubbing machine because I know how to use that and it can spin you out to oblivion very easily. <laughs> just so everyone knows what it's, it's just a carpet, uh, a a carpet, carpet. cleaner. It sprays water out to help it rinse the floor mm -hmm. and then it sucks it all out. There's a container right here yeah. that holds it all in. So I... Phil has to change that quite often. <laughs> You can see this area that we've sort of done, gone up to it, and then this area we haven't. I'm kind of, I want to do this area. We are going to get to all of it, yes. Yeah, but I want to do this area. Can we? You can do it with a toothbrush if you like. On all fours. There's an electric toothbrush upstairs. It's yours. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's get to that area because that'll be really interesting for everyone to see. Da da da, the before shots. <laughs> the horrid before shot. Um, right, everyone, because I've got to spray the cleaning solution on the floor in front of Angie. So this is going to be filmed terribly. Uh, but hopefully you get a, a better idea of what's going on. Yeah. Um, cue some music so you don't hear the very annoying noise. Right, what we're going to do. Soak the area for me. Okay. It will get very dry with the friction. Cool. That's, uh, I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to cut you out of shot, darling. Obviously, there's still a bit of dirty water on there, which will get mopped off after a couple more passes, but... But this is basically, you can definitely see, even on camera, I know you definitely can, the, like, detail. And where I am, that's, like, how it was before. So let me just say, look at that. I mean, you can literally see the line there where we've... Sort of, yeah, where you've just reached it. Look at this over here compared Dirt to that. Line. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. But um, and this is actually clean. It's the imperfection mm -hmm. of the granite. Is is the black bits? This is like a grey granite. So you are definitely going to get them. But it's absolutely clean, and you, you are finally able to see the detail, which is just incredible. I mean, soon we'll be able to eat the food off the floor. <laughs> Figure of speech. Cool. Uh, this is going to take a while, I think, isn't it? Um, well, we, we're trying out different methods and how to speed up. Um, so, you know, we, we're working together, but it's getting there. It's, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but there is definitely progress. And this is years and years of stuff. Super. It's having the right equipment. Okie dokie. I've moved everything around because we've got to do half a floor and then half a floor just because of stuff and the way, um, because the floor slopes towards a, a drain, it's the old kitchen, just makes life a little bit easier that way. But, untouched, done. You can literally see the line. Isn't that good? So that's a half and half. 
Let's see if I've got a little bit better. Wow, look at that. Sorted, not touched. Yeah, look at that. Worth the effort so far, I think. Now, to get the last bits done. It's another morning and... And another beautiful room improvement. Yeah, it's obviously, we've explained before guys, it's quite a slow process because we've got to do it in sections. However, and I think Andy is going to show us where I looked at yesterday. The best section is here, which is still quite wet on the dog patches, but look at the overall improvement. Yeah, look at that. I think I'm probably going to maybe overlay, maybe uh, certainly show you the guys. All over here was basically black, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely filthy. Um, might need just a light and just general soap uh, sort of scrub with the machine, which is lighter, but chemically speaking, it's lifted and it's improved. Um, so we've got one last, one last section to do, thank God, finally. Okay, so for anyone that doesn't understand, I'm just going to explain. It's not done in sections because someone somewhere is going to say, why don't you just move all the stuff out and do it all at once? Mm. Apart from the issue with it's a huge space and the chemical and everything dries out. Because you could just say work faster. Anyone that hasn't seen previous videos, this is the old kitchen. Down here is an old water drain from when they used to clean the floor. So unfortunately, the floor is not level. So all drains down to here. So if you look at a line there going upwards, the two the floors both slant in towards a sort of imaginary line there to go to that drain, but also there are a slight different slant that way to go towards it as well. So it's... yeah, so imagine half the room is going inwards, but also obviously going downwards. Yeah. It's like this, all trying to head to there. Mm -hmm. And this is the line where it's at. So what happens is if you don't do it in little quarters, the dirt as you're washing it down goes back onto your clean section. So it's been a bit of a, so we've just done it in sections to make sure we're not doubling up on work. That's all. Or if you spread the chemical, it just ends up running away. So you have mm. to work in sections. Therefore, it's not running away. You're working the chemical and then you're sucking it away by rinsing it. We also had to work with open windows because the chemical smell is... Yeah, so let's move on from the terribleness, which this is a job, but just so people understand, we're not lazy and uh, we have it's been working cold. hard. It is cold. It's so cold with the windows open. So what I'm excited about, as you're stood on it, just show the last section we've got to do today. Oh yeah, it's just, uh, I think it's like from here. Because people oh, will, here. if it's you- just, It's quite narrow and small. If you stand on the clean bit, on your left, there we go. Yes, and now you can, I think everyone at home can probably see the dark section which is required. There we go. This one I did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just this little section today, finish off. And uh, then what we've got to do, we've got to seal it, haven't we, after that? Uh, yeah, it's actually called uh, impregnated. <laughs> Get this done pregnant. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's something that makes the stone waterproof. Uh, there's no gloss or shine to it, and um, it's not supposed to enhance the color. It's just supposed to, next time you drop a tea or wine or you know some kind of uh, orange juice or something drink, it's not gonna stain the granite and you know move this back section. So it's a good idea. Super, so other than the enormous size of the room, and I, this is not a wide angle lens or anything, and that's, I'm not even getting most of that in. Uh, this room is actually larger than our first flat together, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, including the ceiling, the whole square footage, yes. Uh, actually, I don't know. Yes, absolutely. This abs room is like our first flat. Yeah, it, it, it absolutely is. I, I'm, I can actually envisage actually, the space. Because our bathroom was like a walk-in wardrobe type closet okay. space. So uh, we are obviously dealing with huge space. However, we have to get a hose pipe in. <laughs> And now these were useful moats to stop intruders. 
Uh, no one thought about the fact that you've also got to, it'll stop you getting your hose pipe in easily to, to get fresh water. So what Phil has to do is... Do you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll show them. I've got, I've got to do it now. Right, let's get that done. There's Philly getting ready to throw the rope. <laughs> it's, uh... Go for it. I do realise if I don't get it right the first time, I'm going to go take two we're going to cut this out, yeah? Sure. Whee! Well done. You missed the furniture, which is good. And yeah, those are the troubles. Moats. Stopping people getting into chateaus since the dawn of time. <laughs> Fortunately, these days it's not marauding uh, forces, it's me and a hose pipe. Could we say that it, they are also stopping uh, work being done efficiently and quickly too? No, no, just, just defending, just defending still. Okay. Okay, right. Okay. Lucky this is waterproof. Okay, so Philly has attached the uh, Karcher gun. It's lying in the moat and he'll fish it out now. You gotta do what you gotta do. Sorted. Well done. Moat problems. Very first world problems. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, we got the gun, check. Let's get on. Thank you for watching and see you next time. And as always, a special thanks to our VIP tier patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, then simply head over to the link in the description. That will open the page with all the membership levels, where you can read what each tier level offers. Also, a special thanks to anyone who buys us a coffee. Again, the link would be in the description comments. And if you'd like to buy us a coffee, head over to the link to buy as many coffees as you'd like and leave us a message. We love reading all the comments sent to us with the coffees. And if anyone wants to follow us on Instagram or Facebook, the links are above now. And lastly, just thank you to everybody for watching our videos, especially those that let the ads run and help us with the little bits of pennies that uh, add up for the channel. Thank you so much. See you next week. If you like this episode, then don't forget to subscribe and check out the other episodes suggested coming up on screen now.